Licky Lapji is a longtime neighbor and family friend, and he joins us from Vancouver to share his thoughts on his friend's achievements. So, Licky, you watched that. When you saw him swim across that finish line, what were you thinking? What were you feeling? It was incredible. Just uh, watching him cross that line, uh, you know, the, the entire race was uh, so close, and it was back and forth, back and forth, and he finishes in that spot. The, uh, you know, the, the emotions were just streaming right through us. Uh, yeah, it was incredible. And just five seconds, I mean, after 10 kilometers, to be five seconds from the first place and the third place, did you just go, oh my gosh, he came, he came so close. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, how, do you, how do you do that? How can you be just five seconds behind? But uh, yeah, you know what, it's so close. He, he worked really hard, and he's been doing this for years, and uh, the, all the hard work that he's been doing has really paid off. It's hard work, but I understand he even would describe himself as a little bit <laughs> wacky when it comes to what he likes and what he doesn't like when it comes to swimming in open water. Tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, he does. And, you, know, uh, you know, I've seen him grow up since uh, he's been 10 years old. I remember him at about 12 years old, 13 years old. He, had, uh, he was kind of short at that point, and he had long, spiky hair, almost like a, you know, the punk rocker style, and he was just uh, a funny little kid that running around on the bike, no helmet, running around, but, uh, you know, we had a conversation at that point and, uh, with his family, and he goes, uh, at about 13, he goes, I'm going to be in the Olympics, and, you know, you know, we're much older than him, and we go, yeah, okay, I'll be fun, it'll be nice to watch that if you ever make it there, but ever since he said that, we saw the change in him, and he was incredible. He, he just worked hard he and had fun doing it. Had fun doing it, but I understand. So he swims in a pool, right, most of the time in Victoria, because he gets a little bit worried about what can be in the water, especially in oh. places like Mexico where there's crocodiles. <laughs> yeah, the crocodiles would have something to do with it. So he does the, the inside trading, and then they also do outside trading out there. But you know, you're looking at the West Coast, which doesn't have all the uh, uh, the elements that every, everywhere else does. <laughs> So he is a little, uh, he's got his superstitions as well. You know, if you probably noticed, he took his uh, cap off right away. Uh, that's one of his deals. He gets into the, the race and he takes his cap off. And tell us a little bit about, you talk about how hard he's worked. What, what has he done to achieve this? Well, you know, from what I can say is uh, the parents have uh, been going in and out of uh, swim practices, four in the morning, five in the morning, six in the morning, and he trains every day, you know, with the, uh, We'd meet up with the parents uh, for dinners and drinks, and you know, we'd say, "Where's Richard?" They say, "Well, he's at he's at his uh, swimming." I said, "What's he doing?" He said, "Well, he's doing about four or five k today," and he does that daily. Uh, I'm not sure what he did last uh, few months for Olympic training, but uh, knowing him, he was at it every day. You know, it came as maybe uh, we were talking today that it came as a bit of a surprise that he actually won uh, this medal. Probably not a surprise to him. He was determined to win. Everyone goes to the Olympics determined to win. Were, were you surprised? Uh, not at all. You know, uh, just watching him and being seeing his determination, uh, I knew top five for sure, but the way he started the race, uh, we knew he was going to make it on the podium some, some, some way. And it was incredible to watch him get the, the bronze. And how do you plan on celebrating? Is there going to be some well, kind of, there's got to be a party. We're going to try and do something pretty quickly. Uh, I'm trying to get uh, one of my customers together this afternoon, and we're going to rewatch the game and hopefully get a uh, block party happening if we can. Sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Licky Labji, good to speak to you. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Licky Labji is a longtime family friend of Richard Weinberger, speaking to us from Vancouver.